Oh my god, my bed's an absolute mess behind me. Just ignore that. We're having a bit of a chill weekend. <laughs> Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I've got a little PLT haul. I am doing this video a little bit differently to usual because I'm just like a little bit ill, basically. And I kind of just want to sit in with my cup of tea. So <laughs> I'm so lazy. I'm basically not really going to hold the pieces up. I'm just going to sort of talk about them throw a couple of trial clips in and yeah let you know what I kept what I liked what I didn't and yeah it's been so long since I've ordered from PLT I kind of think I've drifted away from like misguided and pretty little thing a little bit so I kind of wanted to venture back see what I thought basically so yeah if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I really hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> okay so this was a big old haul I feel like because I haven't shopped for a little thing in so long, a lot was like a lot drew me in. <laughs> so first off, I really feel like I've been on the hunt for basic loungewear. So I ordered a few pairs of joggers. The first pair that I tried on was this like pale yellow pair of thick joggers. And I honestly fell in love with these and um, <laughs> I've really decided on keeping these because I'm just absolutely in love with them. They are so soft and really really comfy so yeah I absolutely love those. I feel like they're just their basic joggers so I mean I don't know if they have more colours but if they do I definitely recommend these. <laughs> I also paired those joggers with a t-shirt which is kind of what spiked this whole haul and it's like this beige t-shirt that says not your baby on the back and I did really like it on someone else. I didn't really like it on me as much. I think I'm not really into like bold text on clothing um, I kind of already knew that, so I mean, I thought it was a cool piece, but I mean, it wasn't really for me. And then, so the next pair of joggers I tried on were a little bit more on the white side, but not quite, so I guess a bit more cream coloured, and they were like waffle material, I don't know how to explain it, but I really liked them, they were a little bit more oversized, I'd say, and they had drawstrings, and this also came like, sort of like a matching co ward with like, a sweater that matched. I did really like this set but like, I felt like it wasn't perfect. I don't think I'd wear it out, whereas I do feel like I'd wear these joggers out. So I don't think I'm gonna keep the set, even though it's really nice and really comfy. I just don't know if I'd see myself wearing it out just because of the fit. Oh, okay, my battery's about to die, one sec. <laughs> I am back. I think this is kind of the right position, not too sure. So the next thing I tried on was this like white mesh kind of balloon sleeve top, as I've really sort of been into that recently. And I did think it looked really pretty, but it just fit weird in all different places. So for example, like around my waist, it fit perfectly, but like around like my chest and my back, it was a bit loose. It was a bit weird on the sizing, but I mean, I guess it just depends on your ratios. It might fit you perfectly. So I did think it was a really lovely top though. Next, I tried on sort of like this white sort of zip up sweater. And I thought this was okay, but I feel like, <laughs> just been ordering so much from Topshop and Zara recently I think I'm just I'm used to expecting a little bit more quality in my items and to be fair I've literally ordered something like this from Topshop recently and kept it yeah I don't want to like say it's like bad quality but I mean I mean yeah <laughs> but like I think it's kind of why I stopped ordering for Pretty Little Thing and Misguided because I mean some things can be a bit low quality I mean these joggers for example I think these are lovely and probably just as good as Topshop but some things cannot be. <laughs> I then tried on quite a lot of things from Molly May's collection. In fact, I didn't actually order everything that I wanted because not everything was in my size. And I don't know if I was really blown away by most of it. So first I tried on the white roll neck that I feel like she's wearing in a lot of the advertising for her campaign. Um, and I just, what's the best way of describing this? It kind of feels like you're wearing a neck brace. Like, I think you'll understand what I mean in the trial clips. Like, the roll neck is so high. Like, it comes up to, like, here. And then, but if you do another roll, it's, like, it's rolled too much, if that makes sense. I don't know how she makes it look good, but, I mean, I just, I felt a bit uncomfortable in it. And so, I mean, it wasn't really for me. And then for all her blazers, I ordered three. And in the trial clips, I wore all of them as blazers. But then looking back, one of them's actually a blazer dress. And I didn't wear it like that, so I mean, I apologise, but I mean, you probably should be able to wear it both ways anyway. So first I tried on this beige blazer. This one, I wasn't, I didn't mind it to be fair, I thought it was okay. 
but again I just sort of it was quite thin I'm gonna be repeating myself here it was quite thin and I just thought I've tried on sort of like nicer blazers and like Zara and Topshop and I mean if I'm spending over 20 quid then I'd rather get something a bit better quality the next one like honestly just wasn't my style at all which was like this sort of muted grey beigey this might have been the dress actually I think this was the dress but I mean I wore it as like I mean to be fair you could you could probably wear this as a blazer anyway I just didn't, didn't really like the style of it and this one was even thinner than the first one and I just didn't really think it was my style anyway and again the next one I tried on was actually very similar to the second one but a bit more thicker I think and a little bit better quality I wore this on top of a top instead but again I didn't really pick something that was really my style I don't really wear a lot of plaid do I even own any plaid but it tends to be more on like the tan side I guess rather than these blazers were either like grey beige or like pinky beige which really isn't my kind of colour scheme <laughs> okay so one blazer I did really like from her collection was like the black breasted blazer with like gold buttons I actually thought this was really nice it was actually the I think the thickest out of all of them and the best quality I really didn't mind it actually I thought it looked really nice I actually would contemplate keeping it I think it's not usually something I would wear but I did really like this one and if you were thinking about getting any of her blazers I'd say this one was the best quality um, so I definitely recommend that one out of all of them. Next up is something like I'm really not sure about. It's basically like the aviator faux fur jacket that she... I think there was only one coat in the collection wasn't there but I mean I, I think I really love it. The thing I'm not sure about is if I can pull it off and also if it's a little bit too big for me. I got a size 8. So maybe I needed a six, I'm not sure. But then again, I wanna wear things under it because it's a coat. Tell me what you think about the coat because I'm not sure whether to keep it or not. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I do really like it and it's really good quality. I think I got it in the sale as well, so even more of a bargain. <laughs> Next, I got this beige like oversized hoodie. I've actually bought this in the past in white before, so I kind of already knew what I was gonna be getting and I really do like their oversized hoodies. I think they're really good quality. They're really, really soft and they're nice for like lounging around in, but I also think you can style it up like under jackets or with jeans. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping that just because it's just such a really nice basic. And then last but not least, I tried on a dress, which I really wanted to love because I just thought it looked so nice on the model, but it just, the plunge was just too much. I mean, in the trial clip, I'm having to hold together the dress because, I mean, the plunge literally was like down to my belly button and was gaping way too much. But I just thought the pattern and the frills were just so pretty and it's such a shame that it's plunging so much. I don't know what size I got, but I mean, I guess I could try downsizing a lot. I really like the design and really wanted to love that, so that's a shame. <laughs> so there we go, that is the end of this PLT haul. I honestly spent quite a lot but I mean luckily enough I don't think I'm going to be keeping too much of it. I'm definitely keeping the hoodie and these joggers that I've got on and then I'm sort of just kind of contemplating the black blazer and the jacket um, but please let me know what you think down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!